Hey, welcome back guys. So let's look at how to do some pagination. So let's say you have a lot of information in your system and you want to show information page by page. So let's go to our users table here in our database. There are two records only, but let's add a few more. So I'm going to click insert here. I'll add a username Mary, hopefully that isn't a repeat. I'll still add password here, password, email Mary at yahoo.com. Peter, and let's use password here as well. And Peter at yahoo.com. And let's save that. Okay, so let's go to browse. And now we have at least four names. So we have at least two pages here. Yeah, if we get two names per page. So let's see how we can display this information. So what I want to do is go to my text editor here, make sure in my web.php, I want to show that on the users page. So inside routes, there's web.php. I just want to make sure that on the route, on the get, it says users just like that, like so. Okay, so users, so that I have a get for the users as well. Then let me go to controllers inside app HTTP controllers, users controller. And right here, this is the one that happens when we say, when we just refresh the page. So it goes to this part. Okay. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> let me go back here, excuse me. <clears throat> and type users like so. And then this is the previous project we had. So let's remove everything in the users view. So inside resources, view users.played.php so that we can start from scratch here. Okay, so now I see nothing there, which is well and good. Okay, <clears throat> so the place I want to read the data from is the controller. So I'll click on users controller here. And this is the the function that runs when we do the get, uh, when we just refresh the page. So right here, I want to read from the database. So I'm going to use this DB facade. I'm not going to use a model. So I will use this one. And what I will do here to read the data, I will say data is equal to DB colon colon or double dot dot. And then I'm going to say table, the table is users. And then I just want to tell it to get the results. And then I want to send data inside here. So I'll create an array and use the same name data. And the value is the data we just got from the database. Okay, so we've supplied everything we need. We don't really need this part right here. So you can ignore this part right here. It's a function for when the post, when we post something from the previous episode. Okay, so data is equal to that. So we have the data, we've sent it to the uh, user blade here. So what I want to do here is do a for each loop. So say add for each, because we are using blade, of course. Then I'll say data as, uh, let me call it row like that. And then I'll do an end for each like so. And then inside here, I just want to echo out um, why is it like this? Okay, so I just want to echo out row. So here we have uh, Let's create a simple table, shall we? 
So I'm just going to say table like so, and then table row, and then table heading. So all I want is the name and duplicate that to make the email. Email. Maybe we can do date as well, just uh, for the sake of it. And maybe we can add an ID here just so we can keep track of where we are. Okay, there we go. So I'm now going to duplicate this and change the table heading to table data. So I'll just say TD. I think I changed that as well, like so. And then this time I will use row like that. Now I don't want to loop the table, so I'm going to put the table opening and closing outside the loop. Also, I don't want to loop the header, so I'll move it out as well. Push that over like so. Push that over, okay. So now in here I can add what I need. So this ID, let me copy this. Let's go back to our database just to make sure there's a username, uh, email, and date. Okay, so copy that with the username and then email. And obviously we have date over here, so I'm going to change that to date. Okay, pretty great. So if now I refresh my page, this is what I get. I have, it seems I have a branch here that I don't really need, which is this one right there. Okay, very good. Now, if I only want, let me zoom in a bit here. Now, if I only want to show like two records per page, what I need to do is, um, I'll need to use the pagination. So in order to use the pagination, all you have to do is write paginate. Instead of get like that, you say paginate like so. And then you tell it how many you want to do per page. So in my case, I just want two of those. So now keep in mind that this works exactly the same if I use my model. Like the way this is here, we have this table there, okay? So I can use my model. If I go to my user controller, the model is already loaded here. So which means it could work as well here if I decided to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well, but it's pretty much the same. The only difference is I'll put the uh, model name here, like people. And then instead of table, because we already know the table name, uh, we'll go directly to paginate there. So let me try this and just refresh. So you see now we have two items. So this would be exactly the same if I used the people thingy here. Let me do this and I'll say people dot dot. And then here I will say, um, well, paginate. Let's try that, shall we? Okay, so you see it works exactly the same. If I put three here, I'm going to get three items like that per page. Okay, pretty good. So let's keep it, uh, I'll keep it at three. So now what to do once you are done like this, you would ask the question, how do we go to the next and previous page? Well, let's go down here to the view. So right at the view here, I'm just going to put my next and previous down here. So I'll use blade like so. And now the important thing is to get this very array right there. So I'll get that array and put it here. So whatever you you named the array that you're going through or running through there, that's what you do that. And you type the word links like that. Okay, so just by doing that, you've put your links down there. So if I refresh, I should get some links down there. Uh-oh, 
I sense an error coming through. Why is it ticking so long? Okay, apparently uh, it's still good. So you see here there's uh, previous and then there's next. So I'll click next. And that's the last one, previous. So you see, showing one, two, three, or four results. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, there's a giant arrow down here and another arrow down there. Yeah. So these arrows are part of, it's because there's no CSS. That's why you see those big arrows there. But you can add some CSS if you want. And the way to do that is to right click on this thing and inspect and then go down to the console and see what um, what classes are involved. So there's W-5, H-5. So let's try W-5 first. So let's add a style right here. Okay. And we'll do it on the class W-5 like that. So what I will do is I'm just going to say, uh, I don't know, uh, font size. Let's try font, or well, let's try width, something like 100 pixels. Let's see what that does. Okay, so as you can see here, by using that, I can uh, change things here. And so that way I can use these guys if I wanted to. So page, just there, just there. So you can style this as you want. If you don't want to see this, uh, just change the style to display none and your home and dry. So those arrows will not show anymore. So you can just have the one, two. Now, if you're the type that really doesn't like what they are seeing here, you want to create your own pagination. Well, you can actually do that. So let's see how we can create our very own pagination. So I'm just going to remove all this. So that one is okay. You can move page to page, but you can though create your own by defining it here. So I'm just going to define it as paginate dot blade. Actually, no, I just need to write paginate. So this is a view that we're going to create in the views, which will be used as the paginator. But I need to get the data so I can access it inside the paginator as well. So what I will do is put a comma, put an empty array and write the key, which is data in this case. And then the value will be this very same data object, which we are using here. Okay. So that does it for the paginate. Now, if I try to run this as it is, I'll get an error because the paginate uh, does not exist. So view paginate not found. Well, that's okay. We'll go to the views folder, resources, views, right click, new file, save, and call it paginate.blade.php. Very nice. Now, if I refresh, the page is there, I'll find it, but there are no buttons in there. So this is entirely now up to me to create. So I can create my own buttons in here, just an input of type button like this one, and then value will be, let's try next like so. So let me come back here and refresh the page. So you see there's a button there, next, and then we can put another one for previous, like so. Okay, so now how exactly do we get the links themselves? So there's previous, there's next. So if I click here, nothing happens, obviously. Now this is where the documentation comes in. So you can go to the documentation, Laravel 8 pagination, go to database and go to pagination. So let's move, let's scroll down, down, down to the very bottom, right here. So right at the bottom where it says cursor paginator instance methods. So these are the methods you are free to use in order to create the page that you want. For example, if you want the next page URL, this is what you get. So I'm going to copy this. 
okay so here I just want to put this one inside an a tag like so I'll use blade obviously and then I will do this now paginate in this case is this object that we sent through here which is data so that's what I'm going to use here instead data like so so this is for the next page URL let me cut that on out and put it here put this one here also copy this put it here and I need to get the one for the previous page which is where is it here we go copy paste it here okay there we go so once I do that now if I refresh my page ooh, syntax error expecting identifier or variable where is that online where exactly is that here okay that's because I added two arrows by mistake all right refresh and there we go so if I click next now it comes back to page one Ooh, what's happening Ugh. have I mistakenly added the wrong button on the wrong place yeah look at that so I just completely uh, missed the mark this should be the previous this should be the next <laughs> that is just insane so let me click here drag this here and swap this to the other side okie dokie we're in business so next page we can't go anymore so I'll click previous previous nothing so this is how you can create your pagination for every page like that yeah now keep in mind that there are a lot of these methods here for example uh, in order to for example maybe you want to show the buttons only if there are other pages existing so you can use this in the if statement and then only print the next and previous pages if this is true or if only this is true so it says determine if there are enough items to split into multiple pages so we're going to copy here and let me come back here for example and use that if statement so I'm just going to say at if like that okay and then I will say at and if like so okay so let's come back here and let's refresh so there are enough it items to do that but if we come back to the controller and let me put this at let's say 13 okay so if I refresh you see that now the buttons have disappeared because the paginator has returned a false here so using this kind of thing you can really design the paginator that you want so just go through all of these and see what they mean and then you can see how well to actually use them Okay, so hopefully this has been informative and I will see you in the next Laravel.